ladies and gentlemen, welcome into my courtroom because somehow I lost last time. Um, I call bullshit, but here we are. Uh, just gypped and robbed out of out of victory for me. Anyway, today. Kevin O'Brien stands accused of not believing in Bam Adebayo. <laughs> you guys knew this was going to be coming eventually. I, I had the reins on this discussion. It was needed. It was necessary. We have to fight this, guys. So, Kevin, you stand accused of not believing in my boy. My boy, Bam. Bam Adebayo. So, uh, why don't you try and discuss uh, the argument of... Will Bam, does he have the potential, and is he now a superstar? All right, let's just get this out of the way right away. He's not right now. Period. End of story. Okay. That's it. That's continue. it. That's, you're wrong. You're wrong. The potential. You're wrong. Potential superstar. Sure. Continue. Potential, okay. potential is another argument. And I think you could argue either way. Um, however, my the crux of my argument comes... Let's look at Bam's previous stats on the Heat. Let, let's take a look. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Seven points a game first season. Five rebounds a game. One assist a game. Hmm. Those look pretty rough. Okay, let's see his second season. He improved. He improved. Okay. Uh, oh, almost nine points a game this time. Almost. Uh, two assists a game. We're improving. And then seven rebounds. Okay, okay. And then this season, hmm, you get had a little spike. I'm surprised. I wonder why that is. Bam is dependent on his teammates to be good. He is not good himself. He is dependent on having a good team around him. He can't be. You can't be a superstar by, or you can't be a superstar if you can't play by yourself. We can look at any what we consider superstar. LeBron James, Damian Lillard, uh, you throw out any name. Even Clay Thompson, by himself, right now, can play well. Bam, when he's by himself on the old Miami te Heat teams that are trash, that you couldn't name more than three people on, uh, he was not that good, and he was very underwhelming. Yes, he had less minutes, but still. He had 24 minutes last season uh, per game, but he was still – very underwhelming. We didn't even start talking about him until this year, and I think that's because of the current Miami Heat team, who is really good, but also has just a lot of good talent across the board. So they want to pass the ball around. They want to get everyone moving, and because they have that ability to do that, they're going to capitalize on that, but I don't think that makes Bam a superstar. So I understand that the, his his first two years were definitely underwhelming. I'll give you that much. However, what do you say to him being in the All-Star game? Because last time I checked, superstars make it to the All-Star game. I think that was uh, absolutely trash, personally. Uh, I, think I, could, I, I think there are at least 10 to 15 other people that should have been in the All-Star game instead of that. Maybe not power forward specifically, but other people who got uh, snubbed. <sighs> Sam, what do you have to say about that? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, uh, the defendant here is quite delusional, as we can tell. <laughs> I'm not sure how he's able to run this case to begin with, Judge. Um, first off, uh, the man's 22, okay? okay? The man was not number one pick, not number two, not number three. Uh, my understanding is that he was top 15, okay? We'll give him that. Um, so we don't expect people who are top 15 to, you know, first year, second year, we don't expect them to be, uh, immediate, you know, game changers of the game, right? Yes, that was repetitive, but, um, we look at this season, right? This season, 16, 11, and five. That is unreal. Okay. Compared to a lot of big men, probably the next best passing big man in the NBA right now is Jokic. And that man is very close to superstar. And we may even call him superstar at this point. And for my defendant to basically blatantly accuse Bam of not even having the potential, the potential, okay? This is not, oh, okay, the potential that he could be, be a superstar, unreal. The man has not even made the playoffs yet. 
I get it. Yes, it was his third year, my friend. And this year, they're supposed to make the playoffs. They are currently a four seed. Um, and I think, once again, going to back to my point, the thing that we don't see with big men is their ability to facilitate and actually be what I call a playmaker to the game. Uh, this man is able to actually run down the court as well. Uh, the man can even play uh, point center at some point. Uh, the guy has the handles. He's able to move frequently. Um, I even say that he probably has better potential than Joel Embiid uh, in terms of becoming a uh, superstar. Uh, the thing he really, he's been working on lately that, uh, quote-unquote, a superstar is helping him with, with, I don't even know if you want to call him a superstar with Jimmy Butler. Uh, based off your terminology, sir, you are saying that Jimmy Butler is a superstar uh, when this man has only made, what, three All-Stars? Um, so when Bam makes three, I was at the clarification that Jimmy, or that Bam's going to be a superstar. Um, who knows? Uh, but based off just the stats and his way of progression, uh, easily going to be most improved player. Um, like he basically doubled all his stats. Um, there's a lot of trust with the team. He's the second leading scorer on this team. That's a Jimmy Butler, who is possibly a quote unquote superstar. Um, so at this point, I mean, to work with a superstar at this point, with, as a Jimmy Butler, I cannot see how Bam Adebayo uh, cannot be a superstar. And I would also like to mention, uh, going back to that point center point, um, do do we not remember? Do we not? Do we do we forget about the All Star All Star Weekend that he he did win? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a biased judge. This is a biased judge. This is a kangaroo court here. Uh, I'm being set up to fail. This is okay, this is the crock of shit. <laughs> so Sam, why why I. I the defendant is correct. Uh, there is some shenanigans going on, so I do need to. I do need to make an argument on his behalf. <laughs> yes, there is a superstar on Miami Heat. You know Jimmy Butler, but what if we took Bam Adebayo, took him out of that situation, and threw him on a team like, mm, I don't know, maybe like Magic? Would he still be doing as well as he's doing right now? Um, I guess it's a swap is that he takes Nikola Vucevic, Vucevic's role. If they're playing together, then, you know, probably not just based on the number of touches. But sure. if he takes Nikola Vucevic's role, I mean, he's still with a pretty all right roster. I know the defendant definitely enjoys Aaron Gordon a lot. Um, <laughs> uh, he's a very pretty mug face on him. Uh, it's phenomenal. Um, but just the way that that team also moves, I think what's important here is that the big man game has changed, right? Uh, there's, Maybe Zion's bringing it back with being 300 pounds. Maybe that's the way to go. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we see a lot of big men from Anthony Davis to Clint Capella, Rudy Gobert. Everyone's lanky, right? Everyone's skinny. They slim down so they can run down the court. I haven't seen a big man like this probably since MB that can run down the court efficiently and participate in a fast break. My counterpoint would be, as well, is that we look at this USA uh, basketball team in 2019, the one that lost in seventh place. Look at the centers that made this roster. Mason Plumlee. Does anyone know what roster he's on? He's <laughs> on the <Right>. Nuggets. <laughs> uh, Miles Turner. Okay, I respect that. Miles Turner. We love Miles Turner. Brooke Lopez. How did Brooke Ro- Lopez make this? And yet Bam Adebayo was snubbed immediately. They're like, okay, we see Bam. Get him out of here. The one thing I will punish Pop on that probably co- I will cost that team uh, that gold medal during that year was not having a true center. Bam Adebayo. That's my argument there. That's a damn good argument, Sam. You both brought up very good points, uh, even though I am obviously a big uh, hype boy for BAM. Uh, Kevin, you do bring up a pretty solid point, I will absolutely admit. You know, it's very true. When you're on a good team, typically you play pretty well. Uh, But, you know, go BAM. All other arguments are in BAM. (laughs) But... I'm not the one who decides the victory. Uh, it, it is the fans who listen to the show. It is people on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube. You guys decide who the winner is. Uh, I know that you might have been a little bit maybe disoriented from last week, picking Kevin over me. I get it. I don't blame you at all. I get it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love you guys. But go ahead and decide who the winner is. Uh, folks, good luck. <laughs>